the big idea here is to make waste into something useful. My name is Leonardo Suniga. I come from Bogota, Colombia, and this is our project Terra Preta. I'm a systems engineer. I've been thinking about this type of solutions for a while now. I'm Ricardo Martinez. I'm from Venezuela, actually from Colombia too. I have both uh, citizenships and a chemical engineer. I came here because uh, my friend Leo was here and he invited me to come here to, to work on the project. At the moment, my country is in a very complicated situation. 96.5% of the, the income of the country is from oil. The first Europeans came to Venezuela seeking gold. They later found black gold, crude oil. They've been mining it ever since. So that's the reason why you normally are projected to go to, to energy uh, or this kind of field. We was talking and he told me, well, I have an idea. I want to, to, to make it real. We are in 2017. Uh, the population in the world is approximately 7 billion people. And in 2050, uh, it's suspected to be 9 billion people. We're really grateful for being accepted as part of the residents in the Supply Frame Lab. Uh, the, the whole idea seems really awesome. Terra Preta comes from Portuguese, uh, which means black soil. And the, the idea was actually a finding that uh, some researchers made in the, in the Amazonian basin, where they found that all settlements of aboriginals had really fertile land to use. And, and then they found out that the, the way they were achieving this was just to burn their, their own waste. And on top of that, they put some soil they were pretty conscious about how they would dispose of their uh, waste. So, yeah, and this is just that, just a, in a control manner. We introduce organic waste. It's going to be heated and it's going to be creating a chemical reaction that is at the composition of the carbon and at the end we are going to have biochar. That is a pure carbon, basically it's a charcoal a pure, um, with a lot of properties, good properties that allows the, the plant to grow up faster and stronger and to retain the water, basically for, for the quantity of carbon. What I'm doing here is to, to print, just to see how uh, the prototype is in order to be able to tour market. Uh, we designed or using the different uh, components in the market because the idea is as we are prototyping, we want to reduce the cost as much as we are able to in order to be making it real in an easy way. So, so this is the whole, the whole piece. This would be the main part of the reactor where the whole thing happens. The 
biggest ob obstacle was machining the bearing for the auger. Uh, there's, a, there's a piece that holds a ro rotating uh, auger and it has to withstand pressure. So we came uh, with an idea and we enhanced it further. It's called the stuffing box bearing. So it, we, we enhanced that design and, and Dan helped us machine that part. We initially work to produce Bioshock. We are very happy to say, wow, we found it, uh, we are producing Bioshock at the moment. The idea is to have the initial process working, so it's actually charring stuff and we have already tested that and it's working. Now what we want to do is uh, be able to automate it completely, so we'll add motors to the to the two uh, parts that move. Uh, we already have sensors, but we're measuring on our own. There's a part that we want to add that will allow us to remotely gather information from temperature and pressure and remotely adjust um, speed from the motors or even turn down the whole thing. We have kind of a different approach we're not thinking here about energy production because we have solar, we have wind, we have geothermal that are already green and they're already developed. The big idea here is to make waste into something useful. What Terra Preta wants to achieve is to have whatever you, you make, you put it back in the soil in a, in a meaningful manner, in a, in a proper way, so it can then feed again all the, all the growing population that we have on the world. So that's our goal.